Okay, so this is a continuation of my video on what to do when you run out of food for your caterpillars. Um, like I was telling you in the previous video, I've got butternut squash, which is one of the things that I found that supposedly is good for them that they can eat, but I didn't see any of my caterpillars actually feeding on the butternut squash. They're still eating what's left of my giant milkweed. Um, and so the other thing that I found that I read that you could give them on emergency food is cucumber. So that's uh, so what I did here and they're actually eating cucumber. I thought at first that that was not so, but they are eating cucumber, which is interesting. So you can use that for emergency food if you ever need it, organic cucumbers. So then I went to my nursery and bought six of my milkweed plants here. They were three for ten dollars, and now I'm gonna going to con continue transplanting these guys over to the plants. Ooh, one thing that I want to warn you about is I don't know. I guess you really have to look closely. I probably have to get my reading glasses or something. Well, these guys are moving still, but you'll see some of the bigger ones. You need to be careful because when you go to pull them like I'm going to do now, you pull them off the plant. Sometimes, sadly, the guys have already started to form their little silk that attaches them. Oh, I dropped that one. See? So you got to be more careful than me. I'm sure you could put them at the bottom and they will crawl up to where they need to go and I dropped it again but at least at least this time it was on the plant sorry so then I'm going to grab some others to transplant them where there's more food so I simply pull them without squeezing and bring it over to a plant and they usually attach themselves or they fall to the bottom of roll in a ball but then you'll soon see them stretching out and going up for food so videoing and transferring isn't going too well, but oh well. Anyhow, so just keep in mind that when you pull them when they're bigger, they might be already forming their silk, and I kind of have interrupted that pattern of them forming their silk without realizing that they were already attaching themselves to the plant to get into a J shape. This one's still attached to my hand. Let me go, please. I don't want you to be attached to me. Okay, so there he is. He's a little one, like a medium size, and he attached himself, and he's already starting his journey of food binging. They're so cute. See, so I'm saving a little caterpillar. I am waiting for my husband to get home so I could put them in the enclosure so that I can watch the whole process and then release the butterflies. Anyhow, so I will continue to remove all these guys and put them on the other plants that I have here. Then I will put them, I mean I could leave them here in my enclosed patio and they would attach themselves somewhere but I like to have them in a smaller area. Those are my parrots in the background, they're wild parrots. I love them. Anyhow, you get the idea. So the predators also are frogs. And I put some out in this pot last night without realizing. I was too worried about just keeping them safe or fed. But I forgot that there were frogs out there and they probably munched on some of my cats. Oh well. Can't think of everything at the same time. This guy's over here eating. See, there's two of them down there. Possibly three. Anyhow, I'll keep you posted. Hope that helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.